Mike freaking Tyson. How in the hell can anyone beat this guy? Mike Tyson can't even beat Mike Tyson. The dream fight at the end of Mike Tyson's punch out for the NES is a tough enough bout to even reach, let alone win with the one punch knockdowns the Iron Mike delivers all over Little Mac's soon to be mangled face. But Kid Dynamite, as they called him back then, powerful as he may be, is not invincible. A little know how and a lot of practice, and you too can power Little Mac to victory. This is your how to guide to defeat Mike Tyson. While there are some more advanced strategies you can use throughout this fight, I'm gonna stick to the bare bones basics since this is aimed to help people get the job done for the first time ever. But before getting into the strategies and the round by round breakdown, there's a couple bits of info that you should know. First is regarding the television on which you play. Remember how things like Guitar Hero and Rock Band required you to calibrate video lag with your HDTV? And how those precious milliseconds could easily cripple you from rock stardom to being a sideshow in a bowling alley? Same concept kind of applies here. Reaction time is crucial. An old cathode ray or tube TV is ideal because there's no lag at all. But since those are a rare option these days, try switching your HDTV to game mode if it has that in order to minimize that lag. The other bit of info you'll need, 007-373-5963. If you're going to beat Tyson, you're going to have these numbers burned into your head because you're going to have a lot of trial and error. The quicker you can crank those out on the password screen, the quicker you can get to your next attempt. Now that we've covered that, we're going to go over the three most important aspects to winning this fight, followed by a round-by-round -round breakdown. The first thing you need to know is how to properly dodge Tyson's punches. If you've made it this far, you know that pressing left or right on the D-pad will dodge punches. But in this fight, you need to be sure to only quickly tap the D-pad to dodge, rather than hold the button down even just a little bit. Anything more than a quick tap will cause Little Mac to stay to the side a little bit longer, and your window to counter punch will close. Next is how to properly counter punch. When you counter, make sure you hit Tyson on the opposite side that he's facing. So if Tyson is facing to the right after his missed uppercut, hit him with your left hand and vice versa. This method does about double the damage to him, which is crucial as the fight goes on. Just look at the difference in damage comparing a pair of bad counter punches versus a pair of good ones. Spread out that damage difference over something like a whole round and you can see that it's make or break. Lastly, and most importantly, focus. Much more so than any other fighter in Punch-Out, Mike Tyson requires you to react in a fraction of a second in order to dodge his devastating punches. It's also monumentally important to only react to what Tyson does, rather than trying to dodge prematurely in anticipation of a punch. The length in between his punches varies throughout the fight, and if you get caught recovering from a dodge when he switched up the timing on you, you're toast. Get those three things down and you're off to a good start, but obviously, there's a little more to it than just that, so let's break things down round by round. For the first minute 30 of round 1, Tyson will throw these vicious uppercuts that will knock you down in one hit if they connect. This first part is probably the hardest portion of the fight, both because of the power of the punches and the way Tyson will change up his timing in between punches. That's where that focus I mentioned earlier becomes crucial. When he's going to throw an uppercut punch, you'll see Tyson's whole body do this little flash thing. When you see that, and only when you see that, that's when you have to dodge, and remember to counter by hitting his opposite side. After the minute 30 mark, he'll spend the rest of the round throwing a less powerful punch that won't knock you down, but still takes about the same reaction time. If you're dodging and countering effectively, you'll be able to knock Tyson down two times in round one. However, if you're nearing a second knockdown toward the end of the first round, hold off on the counter punching to start round two with Tyson's energy low and close to a knockdown. Round two is also somewhat structured like round one was. What's different is the actual structure of it. This round opens up with Tyson throwing these quick jabs for the first 30 seconds. He'll throw two of them back to back, then have a brief pause, then repeat that four more times for a total of 10 jabs. The easiest thing to do here is to just dodge these. Either count all 10 of them or watch the timer for when it gets to 30 seconds. Following that, he'll throw a couple of his non-uppercuts, which will allow you to get back to doing damage. And if you had his energy down low enough after round one, hopefully get a knockdown. If not though, keep racking up damage and also keep focused because he will throw his uppercuts again. However, they won't be one hit knockdowns on you anymore and you're able to get in more than two counter punches on him after a dodged uppercut. When you reach the minute 30 mark of round two, Tyson will do this little blink thing and stand stunned for a second or two. When you see this, take the free shot to the face, you'll get a star, but also be ready to block four quick punches that are on their way. To do this, you'll need to press the down button on the D-pad to do the actual block. 
You'll most likely turn pink with exhaustion in the process, but that's normal. Dodge a couple of the punches that follow that little combo, and you'll be back and ready to roll. I know it may be tempting to try and use that star you got, but for beginners, trying a super punch is much more likely to backfire on you than it is likely to land. Now Tyson will do that same blink stun thing at the 230 mark of round 2 as well, but there's also a chance he may do another small combo in between the 130 blink and the 230 blink. Dodging that can require a little bit of luck, but the result of failing to dodge it isn't too punishing. Anyway, for the second blink stun at 230, do the same thing you did before, punch him high, then block his 4 punch combo. If you've got two knockdowns on him already and are within reach of a third at this point, go for the TKO. If you've only knocked him down once in round two, get him as close to knockdown as you can and just dodge without countering until the round ends. You'll get him in the final round. Pretty much all that structure of rounds one and two goes out the window for round three. Really, the only structure at all is a blink stun at the 130 mark like in round 2. Otherwise, Tyson just comes out swinging in this round, and that is exactly what you want. Basically, round 3 is as simple as this. Keep doing what got you here through rounds 1 and 2, and you'll do enough damage to Tyson to knock him down 3 times for the TKO. While in previous rounds, Tyson would regain almost all his energy upon getting up from a knockdown, in round 3, that won't be the case. You've got him tired now, you've got him against the ropes, your own heart might be pounding out of your chest, but that's only because you know you're so close. Keep up your focus, keep dodging his punches, keep countering effectively, and you'll keep racking up the damage. Do all of this, and soon, you will be among the ranks of gamers who have led Little Mac to victory over Mike Tyson. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this how-to guide on beating Mike Tyson. If this guide helped you beat Mike Tyson for the first time ever, please tell me about it in the comments below. Or if you know somebody else that wants to try and beat him, share this video with them. If you like this video, please hit it with the thumbs up button below, and if you want more videos like this one, please click subscribe. Thanks again for watching, everybody.